Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we will discuss the Express Entry System. In this video, I will cover in detail the steps involved in the Express Entry application. So hit the bell icon to subscribe and let's get started. There are 10 main steps involved in getting Canadian PR via Express Entry. Unlike everyone else, the first step I recommend is to use the CRS tool to determine your score. IRCC sends out invitation to candidates based on their CRS score and it is important to compare your score with the cutoff in the recent Express Entry rounds to get an idea of the target score for yourself based on your education, work experience and IELTS score etc. Language exams are expensive and it is beneficial to have a target score while preparing for the exam to avoid retakes. Using the CRS tool will also help you understand what factors influence your chances of getting the invitation. For example, you may decide to wait while preparing for IELTS to gain more work experience to get higher CRS score before applying or you may decide to apply with your spouse to improve your chances of application. You will also need to find your NOC code to use the CRS calculator. I will drop a link to my video on how to find NOC code in the description for your reference. The next step is to get your language test results. In the past, IRCC only used to accept IELTS and CELPIP. That has changed now and now they have started accepting the PTE exam for English language. TEF and TCF Canada are the exams used for French language proficiency. If you can, I will highly recommend learning French. It will help you gain additional points and increase your chances of getting invitation to apply. The higher your language test score is, the higher your CRS total will be and you will have more chances of getting the ITA. If you're planning to immigrate with your family, your spouse can also take the language exam as the secondary applicant score will help you gain more CRS points. Remember that your test result must not be older than two years to be valid for express entry. Next, you will need to get your foreign degree or diploma assessed by an approved agency such as WES, CES, ICES and IQAS for Canadian equivalency for education standards. You will need your education assessed before creating the express entry profile as the system will ask you to provide reference number of the ECA report while creating the express entry profile. The normal processing time for an education assessment varies between 1 to 4 months. It will cost you around $250 to $300 and the validity of this assessment is 5 years. I used WES for getting my degrees assessed and I will drop a link to a World Education Services website in the description and you can let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on how to get your education assessed by them. Once you have your language test results and ECA handy, the next step is to create and submit your Express Entry profile. This is completely free and you do not need to upload or submit any documents now. As this is a very crucial step, we will go over everything involved in detail in this step and I will show you how to create and submit your Express Entry profile in a separate video on our channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Next step that I recommend is to gather your documents. While waiting for the invitation to apply by IRCC, this will be valuable as you will only get 60 days to upload all the documents when you receive an ITA. You will need to submit Language Test Results Certificate, ECA, Police Clearance Certificate, Proof of Relationship to a Sponsor in Canada, if applicable, Proof of Funds, this should be on an official bank letter head with statement for previous 6 months, Proof of work experience signed and dated on company's official letterhead. Additionally, you will also need work references from old colleagues and pay stubs etc. Now, the invitation rounds under various programs are conducted every month and if your CRS score meets or it is higher than the cutoff score for the current round, you will receive an invitation to apply from IRCC. Please note that the invitation to apply is not PR. Once you receive an invitation to apply, you will need to upload all the requested documents accurately, pay the application processing and write to residency fee and submit your application for review by an IRCC officer. The usual application processing time post submission is about 6 to 8 months. During the processing of your application, you will receive a biometric instruction letter and after that, a medical request letter from IRCC on your registered email ID. 
you will need to provide both the biometric and medical for yourself and your dependent family members traveling to Canada with you. Once the processing is complete, you will receive a passport request to submit your passport to the nearest VFS center for visa stamping and after around two weeks, you will receive your passport with one-time entry visa and a confirmation of PR letter in mail if outside Canada. If you are inside Canada, you will receive COPR and landing instructions via email. Your COPR letter will have an expiry date and the final step is to book your tickets and land in Canada and start your new life here. The immigration officer at your port of entry will automatically apply for your PR card and you will receive it in mail on your residential address here in Canada, usually within three months. If you are already in Canada, you will need to apply for one using the PR card application portal. That's it for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might be interested in immigrating to Canada. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.